I think I've done it, folks. I think I've done it. Oh my god, did I do it? I hope no more's coming up, I swear. I was, I was trying at least 50 times there. Oh, you can hear the trembling in my voice. I, I think there's one more. Oh god, why did I have to suffer? Is there a health kit around here, please? Oh my god, why did I... There's one more, I think. Oh no, there is one more down there. Up there, rather. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Oh, fucking hell. Let me try if I can get up here. Get up there! Oh crap. No, please have mercy. Don't please kill me. Please let me live. No, please spare me. Please spare me. Did I get him there? Mercy. Yes, I did. I got him there, folks. You don't know how many times I tried to try it down. I got a headache now. Oh my god, thank god. Oh, it is only I. My son, don't shoot. I am unarmed. Uh, uh. What have you done, my son? Such I don't know. Nothing. God is forgiving. This is terrible. Don't you know murder is the greatest sin? I know, Father. You know, but you don't care, do you? But somehow everything got fouled up. I made a mistake somewhere. So many people have died without reason. They could have done much more with their lives. Father, these people were criminals. Cheats. Murderers. The one lying in the front wanted to rape my girl. Maybe God wanted it this way. A lot of people will have an easier life because of this. Yes, the Lord works in mysterious ways. But what about you? You can look yourself in the face. Your hands are stained with blood that you'll never wash off. I know that, Father. Look around you. Such a waste. We'll have to consecrate the church again. Everything is shot up. I can't let my parishioners in here. What am I going to do? <coughs> Maybe this will help? Yeah, bribe the priest, why don't you? He's teaching us new tricks, isn't he? Pray for my soul, Father. I'll need it. I will, my son. I certainly will. Should have told him that he's an arrogant asshole, isn't he? I mean, like, he's By saying the way, he's... Father, he's your about. little speech about Billy, I'm wondering about your conscience. Billy wasn't such a good person, and he didn't do good when he was alive. He's talking like he's God now, isn't he? But thank God that area was done, honestly, folks. I was trying how many times, honestly, like... I stay quiet because I know I'm going to edit those parts out because I don't want to, you know, let you see those failings again. Oh, I tried, like, how many times? At least six times or so. It was honestly pissing me off. I was swearing my ass off off camera, to be honest. It was terrible. By the luck, I only had two, you know, two points of health left. And I was managed to shoot that guy out you know, on that high balcony. Oh, my head hurts now. Well, thank God that area is done. I really do, do loathe the area. If anyone else loathes the area, please tell me. So I can see that I'm not, I'm not the only one that loathes the area. Oh, thank God it's done. And I will be continuing the next uh, mission in the next episode, guys. Oh my god, it, wait, no, run, run, run. I, I gotta get back to Salieri's bar first of all. Let me get into the police car. Haha, <laughs> shame, uh, you can't get me now. I uh, just stole the policeman's car. Or oh, is this a funeral car? It's not a police car, is it? No, it's a death car. But then whose corpse am I carrying inside? Oh my god, that was terrible. <laughs> that, was a, that was some hilarious shit. Oh. Alright, let's try again this time. I'm going to steal the funeral car first of all and not get hit by the po po popo car. Alright, let's run. Let's run. There is no popo around here, is there? But I've only got two health, as I said before. You know, luckily that I shot the thing. Now, the police look rather confused for some reason. Let me put my speedometer on. Even though I'm a wanted man, I still should drive at a reasonable speed. Let's have a look. Oh god, I gotta cross two islands again. I said I was gonna continue to the next level, so, but I might as well complete this area. Otherwise, if I switch off my PS2, I'm scared that I'll have, that I'll have to revisit the church and shoot for the priest. Oh crap. Let's have a look. Yeah, it should be fine. Let's go this way. Alright, slow. Slow does it. 
Oh crap, because I've only got two health, I've got to be really careful. Get off my case, you bloody policeman. Stay safe. Alright, slow down there, good. Now I've got to be really careful, I've got to watch the roads down now. If I take any kind of a fatal collision here, then I'm done for. Just let them ram me, honestly, I can get there as slowly as possible. I'll try and be quick though. Oh my god, this is horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. Let me just... Can I... Mount the pavement? Out of the way, pedestrian. Get off my case. Damn, man. These guys are ta definitely taking the law into their hands, aren't they? Or the police, aren't they? Uh, now I know my way around things. Just cross over, cross over. I kind of get lost around those areas when I, you know, visit the south of this third island, or rather the first island. Alright, hopefully they won't be chasing us once the loading screen is finished. Oh no! Slow down, slow down! You don't want to die. Yes, get out of the car, get out of the car, that's good. Stay there. Stupid enough, aren't you? You don't think, oh, this guy can maybe drive off. Nah, they're still on my tail though, so as quickly as possible. Right. Are the police still on my ass? Yes, they are. I thought they actually might have lost me. Let's speed up actually, what's the point? I'm already wanted, so what's the point of speeding? Well, I might actually have a fatal collision here, because I've only got two health. Turn around, turn. Oh my god, they're catching up to me. Quickly, come on. Quick, quick. Don't turn. I thought he going to turn there. No! Oh no! Oh no. Oh my god. One health, luckily they didn't take the other one away. Quick, quick, come on. Oh, this is totally out of order. Luckily this island doesn't have a thing loaded to me when we pass to it. Quickly, come on, slowly. Oh, no. Oh, my God, I think they're trying to stop me there. Why did you have to... Okay, this is terribly going wrong. Alright, get out of the cars. Get out, please. Oh, God. One of them got out. I'm so close to tell areas, but I shouldn't fuck her out right now. If I do, then I'm definitely going to be doing editing work again. I've got a lot of editing work to do with the chapel place, the priest. Uh, this should slow down, slow down. Thank God the police sirens got them out of the way. Oh, this funeral car suffering to go up this hill. It can barely go 20 miles per hour. Right, this should be fine. Come on. Come on. This car is a bit like thing. The car from Dead End, if anyone's seen that movie. Okay, not this uh, left turn, it's the second left turn. Oh good, one of them, oh, they haven't crashed, they're still on my case. Slowly, slowly. Go slow. Oh no, why did that happen? Oh my god, why? I'll be back, guys. Alright guys, I'm back. As you can see, I'm suffering again. Look what's happening. Oh my god, I'm just gonna maybe tiptoe there. I think I'm gonna go tortoise paste. But honestly, I, I was driving at, uh, I don't know, very slow speeds. I'm going to try and get there, come on. Oh, please. Oh, this is terrible. This cop doesn't give up. I tried to stop here so he can actually... What do you call it? Oh, my God. I don't know what you call it. All right, they're getting out. Let's piss off. Let's piss off before he gets my um, uh, car door. Let's go, let's go. We are so close to Salieri's bar. All right, the second left, second left. Come on, we can do this. Oh, we can... They know that I'm so close to Salieri's bar, so they want to get me every possible way they can. Hopefully we can do this folks, hopefully we can do this. Okay, turn the left, turn it, oh no, turn the left. Come on, turn the left, don't crash into this tree. I think we're gonna, no, no, thank god I didn't take any damage there. Thank god we're almost there. Come on, come on, we can do this. Crash into that bloody car. We can do this, come on, where's the, where's the thing? There is it, there is, there is, there is it, come on, get in, get in there. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Oh, reverse. Get in, get in. Get in. Oh, thank God, guys. Complete mission. Oh, oh. oh yeah, take that, police. Oh, all right, Carson, I can rest myself and... Oh. You must be joking, right? How could you get through this? Now it was really bad. Billy's pop, the councilman, wasn't very happy with us. And he was in bed with Morello's. Without the Mafia's help, he wouldn't have got his seat. He also started to mobilize the police. So we now had both the mob and the police against us. 
Oh, come on. Hey, both sides benefited from it. The police could look good in the fight against crime, and at the same time get fat payoffs from Morello, who they left alone. And with the help of the police, Morello could eliminate his greatest competitor. An ideal situation. And things were going bad for us. Salieri lost a bundle. And I wasn't doing too good after all that killing. It started to seem that there was no point to anything. That I should enjoy everything as much as possible and quickly, while I still had the chance. For it's so easy to lose your life. Maybe that's why Paulie and me started drinking. You weren't falling apart, maybe. My life was just a trail of murders, crimes, and alcohol. If Frank hadn't helped me out, I would have ended up worse. It was weird. But suddenly he came to me and wanted to help. Could you give me a ride home, Tommy? Sure, Frank, get in. Should have helped out a chapel, Frank. What do I have you as a business man for? Yeah, going okay. Just. just. Ah, nothing. I heard you and Paulie are living it up. You two are getting pretty well known around town. Just something to do with the money. If you don't want to end up a wreck, find some meaning in your life. What? You want to preach to me about a sense of life? I've seen a few good guys who couldn't deal with their problems, and they end up real bad. Usually somebody knocks you off for your money, or maybe you go nuts and all your buddies and pretty dames disappear. Anyway, the Don doesn't want drunks with trembling hands working for him. Those kind of people just bring problems. If you don't watch out, the next thing you know, your best friend kills you without blinking an eye. What should I do then? Come on, be yourself. Maybe invest the dough in some kind of investment. I could give you a few tips. Give up the party. Go to the races with the Don on Sundays. Try taking a dame to the theater or at least the movies. There's a lot of things you can do. And who should I take, Frank? A decent girl doesn't want to kill her. You know, a policeman will murder to uphold the law. You enforce our laws. It's the same thing, we're just on the other side of the fence. You're not a murderer, Tom. But still, your wife mustn't interfere with your business. Remember, never take the job home, it just brings trouble. And where would I find a woman for me, Frank? I thought that you had something with Luigi's daughter, Sarah. Sure did. I think she's a wonderful girl. But you alone know best how far it'll go with her. I'm not going to endanger somebody like Sarah, Frank. Alright guys, so... Oh my god. God, I need to take a break. I've unlocked two new cars. Falcon, Falcona Blue. Falcona Blue, whatever. Lassita V16, Charon Black. That's good. We've added those to the thing. To the whatever. Garage. So I'm going to continue a trip to the country in the next episode. Where we take a trip to the country, basically. And where we're going to be shooting some schmucks in the country. It's going to be a nice, grand day out, folks. Nothing like you've ever... Ugh, nothing like you've ever experienced, guys. But seriously, honestly, after all that, with the, what do you want to call it, the fights in the alleyway, the gun battle in the church, which I absolutely hated, honestly, and then the hellish ride back to Louis uh, Salieri's bar, with the police, you know, rearranging my ass. Well, why did I have to put it like that? That's not the way I was meant to put it. That was a horrible way. I am really cream crapper cracker this time, folks. And there's another cutscene. Very well. One day Frank asked me to stop by the bar. He said he had a little job for me, so of course I showed up. Tom, we got two trucks full of the best liquor coming in from Canada. Sam's gone out to the handoff point to meet him. They're in an old farm outside of town, and we need to get the shipment to the city. I'm sending two trucks out. Paulie's going with one of them. I want you to go with them and keep an eye over everything. Just to make sure it all goes smoothly. Get a call from Ralphie and join up with Paulie over at a warehouse. Paulie will give you some weapons when you get there. Okay, Frank. Okay there, guys. I'm going to say goodbye from now. Because I am so tired. Honestly, I need to go and put my feet up. 
I may need to take a paracetamol as well because I think I might die from a headache soon. So I've been Resident Evil Knievel, guys, and I hope you've enjoyed that. And I'll see you in the next episode doing, uh, well, doing a trip to the countryside. And I hope you've enjoyed that, guys, and I'll say goodbye from now. So I hope you've enjoyed that. And have a good day. And remember, don't have a headache. Have a good day. Bye-bye.